Hi, I'm Tim Kilbride, physical therapist and spinal cord injury specialist here at Gaylord Specialty Healthcare. Today we're going to discuss deep vein thrombosis, or DVT, and pulmonary embolism, or PE. A deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot that forms in one of the deep veins of the body, usually in the legs. Symptoms of a DVT can include pain or swelling in the limb that the DVT is present in, as well as skin that is warm to the touch, and it, the skin often turns flush or red. Usually, a DVT is diagnosed with the use of an ultrasound. People with spinal cord injuries are at a higher risk for developing DVTs. There are other risk of factors that include having a history of DVTs, a family history of blood clots, long periods of inactivity, such as a prolonged hospitalization, pregnancy, or the use of uh, the pill as birth control, and obesity. A pulmonary embolism occurs when a DVT breaks free from where it formed and makes its way to the lung. This is a serious and often life-threatening condition. Symptoms can include breathlessness, chest pain, heart palpitation or rapid heart rate, and dizziness. There are different treatment options available for DVTs and PEs. The most common is to be put on a blood thinner or a thrombolytic. If someone has a DVT and they can't use blood thinners, sometimes a filter will be placed in the body which will catch the blood clot if it breaks free before it can make its way to the lungs. If the clot is very severe, there are surgical clot removal options. Thanks for watching and we hope you found it educational.